Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked, how can we repeat the value of a measure or a column? So basically you just want to repeat certain values. Now this question is one which may not decide if you answer it wrong that you're not going to be selected, but this is to test the length and the breadth of the Power BI you are aware of. This is just to see how much in depth you know in Power BI because you might not need these things on regular basis. So you might not be using it too frequently. So let's go ahead and read what we can reply for this. So with Power BI, it is possible to repeat a value of a measure or a column within a measure or column by using REPT function. This function is designed to duplicate the text a specified number of times, allowing you to populate a cell with the multiple instances of the string. This is one example, REPT, you give a text n number of times. This is one option. And the second option is concatenate x with generate series, little bit different option, but you can use concatenated x and inside that you can use generate series. And in the generate series, you can specify for how many numbers you should generate the series. So one to five and default increment is one. So it's going to generate five numbers. And then I'm using concatenate X, which will use this table one to five to work with the value A for five times. And the advantage with concatenate X is you can decide how you want to separate these five values. So you can give your own custom separator also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump onto the Power BI desktop and try these two things out. So now I am on the Power BI desktop and test these things out. I'm going to create a couple of majors to explain you how these work. So I have created a new page using the plus button down below. I'll click on the majors, which is a folder or which is a table I created to store my major. And now here, I'll get table tools because I clicked on a table inside that I have option for new major and I'm going to use that. Now let me create a major. Let me call it REPT1, repeat one function. I'm going to use REPT. First argument is text. Let me give A, B, C. And the second argument is number of time. Let me give five. And let me close it. The major is created. I would like to put it inside the visualization pane. So I dragged and drop it into the pane in an empty place. It has automatically created a card visual and I have enlarged it and you can see ABC, ABC, ABC repeated five times. So this is how you use REPT function. Let's see, is there a third argument, hidden argument here? No, there is no hidden third argument. So now let's look at the second option, which is with the concatenate X and generate series on the home tab. I can see right now the new major option and I'll click on that. Let me create a new major and this major I'll call it REPT2. And here we are going to use concatenate X inside that. First of all, I need a series. So I'll say generate series one comma five. And I can give an increment value that's optional. If I don't give it, it's going to take it one. So I'll leave it. Then I'll give value A, B, and C, which is my expression, which is I'm giving a hard coded value. And after the space, I'm going to give comma and space so that I can differentiate between these values. And my second major is ready. Now let me drag RE, rename it as REPT2. And let me drag REPT2 also on the visualization pane. And as you can see, I can see ABC, ABC, ABC is getting repeated. This is the major we have created. Same way I can create a column also. Let's see, can we do it on a major which contains certain amount of value? So let me do one thing. Let me create a little bit space on this page and drag my net major. So net major is showing 7 million. What happens when I create a repeat 
on a major. I'm going to use REPT function there. REPT three. REPT function and net. Now net is a numeric major. So first, let me try without changing its data type and let me say repeat it three times. Let me drag it here. And as you can see, the values getting appended one after another without any space. And let me do one thing. Now I can use format net. I can specify now a particular format. If I want, let me say hash comma hash 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 dot zero. And let me come outside this one ampersand and I like and at the end I give a space. So I'm appending this space after my format. Let's see what happens. As you can see now, I got a particular format. I got a space. So what I've done here is basically I appended a space in my value and that is how I'm getting a space out here. And this one was pretty useful. If you remember a few days back, I have shown you a video where we have repeated the star values and different kind of unique icons when we were doing the new dynamic format string. So, so these are the functions you can use for repeating the values. So in this manner, you can answer this question. So go ahead and try this out. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking, sharing and commenting. It helps us immensely. Until next time, keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.